dear learners, I, Trisha Duaraboroa, the Bhupanhasarika School of Mass Communication, Krishna Kanda Handic State Open University, would like to welcome you all to another segment of online class. In today's class, we are going to talk about and uh, discuss the very concept of news agency. What a news agency is all about. It's different functions and different types. This particular topic belongs to Unit 14 of the second paper of the second semester of BA in Journalism and Mass Communication. Let us try to understand this particular topic in a more detailed way. Now, in this particular unit, we will define what a news agency is. We will also describe the different roles and functions of a news agency. We will also try to understand the historical overview of news agencies in India and also discuss some of the most important news agencies across the world. And finally, we shall talk about what editing wire copy is all about. Now, in the earlier units, we have tried to understand different aspects related to news reporting as well as editing, which are said to be very important parts, a very crucial part of the profession of journalism. But there is another important concept that is related to this particular area of journalism, and that is news and news agencies. Now, news agencies is a very important component of this particular profession of journalism. Why it is important? Yes, we have the different newspapers, we have different, uh, you know, print media forms, we have different electronic media forms. But why are we still dependent on news agencies? This is because without the efficient functioning of a news agency or without the efficient functioning of a proper news channel, we won't get news that is, you know, uh, rich in quality as well as it is very much essential for the society. News agencies are one of the major sources of news for newspapers as well as electronic media organizations on whom they rely for authentic and speedy news as well as features. Now, let us therefore start off by finding out what exactly is a news agency and how it is difficult or different from any other media organization. Now, from a layman's point of view, News agencies, they form a major source of news for print as well as electronic media, without which any media organization is actually find very difficult to operate or very difficult to survive. Just like newspapers, news agencies also gather and process news, but unlike newspapers, they do so for the purpose of disseminating it to the different media organizations that have actually subscribed to their services. News agencies that distribute different copies, different news stories to different news organizations, be it print organization or other electronic media organizations. Now, there's another concept called a wire copy. Now, what is a wire copy? Now, since the different news stories are distributed to different media organizations, be it print as well as electronic, they are sent electronically, that is by teletype to telegraph or to fax or the internet and that is why such news agencies are known as wire services because they use wire communication and also we call as news agency copies are also known as wire copy now let us come to different role and functions of news agencies now, news agencies they process information for use by media organizations and not for consumption of the larger masses of people those subscribers of news agencies that includes the different newspapers it can be different magazines it can be different television stations it can be different radio stations it can be different media institutes as well of course they such different organizations they have to pay a certain amount of money a subscription fees on a monthly quarterly or yearly basis and apart from these different news services, news agencies, they also provide photo service and feature service. Now, what is photo service? The photo service is basically like they provide different photographs to cover for different news stories. Okay. And different features to services means it provides different feature stories or news stories. Now, news agencies do not issue customized reports to newspapers and TV channels. 
like you know for instance if i have a particular news channel of my own or if i have a particular you know a uh, pre media organization of my own and if i am a subscriber to a particular news agency that particular news agency will not customize the news report only for myself only for my organization in fact that news organization will supply that particular news story to a variety of to different other news organizations as well who have subscribed to them okay and they distribute the same amount of an event to all its clients and they always try the very best to provide you know a uh, demonstrably correct information because objectivity and neutrality they are two important philosophies that forms the core of any news agency so authenticity of news stories is a must okay now usually when we talk about different contents of news stories what exactly consists of different contents that are being provided by different news agencies mostly politics and economics and apart from politics and economics the different news stories and different news uh, agencies they cover also belong to other human interest stories as well as other entertainment based news stories of course these days this particular trend of you know covering only politics economics or human interest stories as well as entertainment based news stories it's you know coming down a bit but and this trend is actually changing and many other areas are being covered by the different news agencies and you know the major news agencies they have special financial services as well you know these days people are into stock markets you know people are you know, they look for numbers and all so specialized financial services are also provided by the different news agencies as well as sports based services special services in different languages or uh, you know different international services and host of other specialized services now those news agencies which cover news not only for print media but they also supply the different news stories for other web based sources for other broadcast media also those news agencies are actually known as multimedia news agencies now there is a particular committee known as a kuldeep nair committee and this committee was formed you know in the year 1977 and this particular committee was formed to actually you know this discuss or to ascertain the the role and functions of news agencies in india this particular committee suggested you know what actually we can look forward or what recommendations can be given for the news for a particular news agency to function properly in a country like india the first important recommendation which this particular committee has talked about is objectivity adequacy and independence now from the term objectivity can actually make out the news is said to be objective in nature now what is objectivity you know the the person who is covering the particular news story be it a reporter be it a correspondent or be it a stranger that particular person should be very much objective should not try to interpret the news by putting his or her own opinion or her his or her own views into the particular news story basically when we talk about objectivity we say that the news story should contain the basic hard facts 5 w's and 1 h okay and such when we talk on objectivity those news stories mostly covers you know news stories belonging to from from the at the national level or something uh, which is a very important in the international arena so those news stories uh, they should be actually very much objective in nature means whatever facts is given at the field those only facts only should be reported there shouldn't be any kind of interpretation to that that is what objectivity is all about then of course we have adequacy and independence you know uh, very often we find it's not only about you know news agencies it's it's about different media organizations of course media is said to you know have independence Me different media organizations uh, they are actually given the independence to function independently but seldom that is seen because there is you know some form or the other there is uh, a kind of uh, external pressure on a particular media organization to function as whatever their superiors instruct them to function so if that is the case and then then can actually you know you know bring down the quality of the news story so independence is very much important 
the freedom to report of course within certain boundaries the freedom to report new stories that might be of interest to the general public as a whole or that might help the society in the long run those new stories should be given adequate platform the second important recommendation which just uh, kuldeep nair committee has talked about is a news agency system should adequately cover all aspects of the country's life and not merely political events or the news from urban areas you know look the thing is that there should be you know uniform representation of news from across the country it's not that only the metropolitan areas or the urban areas will get the prominence while reporting for news stories but the other semi urban areas or for that matter other you know so uh, other smaller areas of the country the rural areas of the country should also get you know importance while the different news stories are being covered in fact there should be a kind of uniformity should be there it should not be concentrated only in particular area so that is what the second recommendation has talked about from the school dipnare committee the third important recommendation which they have talked about is that consequently the dissemination of news by the agencies has to take place increasingly through the different indian languages so you know it's not that only the national language should be emphasized on and it's not that only uh, english should be emphasized on or maybe hindi should be emphasized on or maybe kannada should be it, like there should be a mix of different languages you know so that you know every culture every region is equally represented when the different news stories are being presented the th- fourth most important recommendation which this particular committee has talked about is that government must follow a self denying policy of not interfering in any way with the work of news agencies that is what i just talked about you know uh, the concept of independence okay now of course it's it's also not proper that you know any government would actually they, they won't uh, even understand that or they won't even like a particular news organization to be given full full independence to perform no government would be willing to do that but they must you know try to follow self denying policy they should not interfere and uh, they should given give certain you know boundary should be there the okay such and such news should only be broadcast or such and such news only should be you know printed provided that particular news story doesn't go against the sentiments of the people or provided that particular news story doesn't you know interfere in the international affairs of the country so that that kind of you know policy should be in place the fifth most important recommendation which is a uh, particular committee has suggested has recommended is that it is actually necessary that the news agency system also covers news which is not only outside the orbit of government functioning but which may imply criticism of authority and it is very much essential in a democracy that dissent should get adequate coverage you know it it should not you know uh, cover the news agencies is our request or the news agencies should perform a function in such a way that it also covers those news which is not only outside the orbit of the government but some something maybe you know uh, it might criticize the government or maybe it might criticize a different organization in a positive way okay negative criticism is not to be encouraged but positive way of criticism will bring out the you know uh, the the good effects of it what actually can be done in the long run so that is what this a uh, uh, fifth uh, recommendation of this committee says so the sixth number recommendation is that the news agency system should not get identified with any kind of vested interest either economic social communal or political that is very much true you know because the news agency when they are try to function when they are getting the different types of you know news uh, for different media organizations you know they should not have any kind of vested interest in that it should be very much objective in nature because every news organization the main motto is to serve the general public it should not be that to earn profit motive that should not be in the mind because if they are trying to function with certain vested interest then that will actually shatter the very foundation of democracy okay so they sh- it's always important to understand a particular news agency they should not get 
identified with any kind of vested interest. The seventh important recommendation is that new agency should maintain a high standard of performance, which should itself be a protection against interference from outside sources, including the government. I mean, you know, they should have a certain kind of standard of performance because whatever they try to focus, whatever they, uh, kind of news they are trying to disseminate to the society, you know, it should be such that it should be such a high standard that the government will not feel a need to interfere into it. So that kind of standard should be maintained. Another important recommendation is that news agencies, even during such situations as hostilities or international tensions and disputes, should strive to keep the people informed of the realities of the situation and not confine themselves only to the so-called popular view of events. So even during, it's also so said during this particular, the recommendations also says that, you know, even during certain hostilities or certain situations might crop up where, you know, there might be uh, certain occasions when the different news and different news stories come up where, you know, uh, we, we talk about the different hostilities. We are talking about the clashes between different government functionaries, different government machineries. So even those aspects can be focused. It's not that we, we need to only focus only on the popular events, okay, which, which might grab the eyeballs of the people. So it should be, there should be a balanced representation of news which this particular committee suggested. Another recommendation is that different techniques of internal checks and supervisions as well as evaluation of the news supply to the subscribers should be actually developed by news agencies because, you know, from time to time there has to be a proper checks and, you know, on the functioning of the news agency, on the function of different, uh, you know, departments of the news agencies that will actually help the news agency to improve if they have any kind of loopholes or if they, if they have any kind of, you know, uh, certain uh, aspects to it which they need to improve on, that can be done. That's why from time to time there should be some kind of supervisions, that can, there should be some kind of internal checks and all. Another important recommendation is that the different programs or professional training of the staff should be organized on an adequate scale. Now, it's, it's not only that, you know, you bring someone from, you know, in any other organization and they come and work for a news agency, you know, and they start writing different news stories, they start collecting different news and then send this new news stories to different media organizations. That is very much easier said than done. Actually, the work of a, a person who is engaged with collecting of news, with editing of news, you know, with uh, sending or disseminating those news to different media channels, it's, it's, a, it's a laborious task. And that needs proper training. You can't just bring someone, you know, ABC, uh, some person, and uh, that person will start writing and it will uh, provide the news to different media channels. So, proper training is necessary. Uh, training as in like, it's not that the person needs to have a proper qualification or the person needs to be properly qualified to attend a particular school after completion of attending the particular trained school. They can, he or she can, you know, come or join in a particular profession, it's not only that. But the person should understand the different nitty gritties of this particular profession. Of this, you know, how the, because we always talk about authenticity, we always talk about objectivity, we always talk about, you know, something uh, which is, which will not distort, you know, the image of the society. Because these days, you know, the internet is full of misinformation. The internet is full of fake news. So one must be actually very careful while selecting the different sources for collecting and compiling the different news stories. Another important recommendation uh, which this particular committee talks about is since news reporting is a creative activity, the selection of personnel should always be made strictly on merit and there should be opportunities for promotion of talent. Because as I've just said that collecting of news, editing of news, disseminating of news stories, it's a very laborious work. It needs a lot of patience, it needs a lot of dedication, you know, it needs a lot of, you know, hard work to earn that particular, you know, uh, position. So one must be actually very careful when they select uh, the people who are involved in a news organization or people who are involved in a news agencies. 
and each the selection should always be based on merit that is what this particular committee has recommended the last important recommendation that the kuldeep nair committee has said is an element of social responsibility in the building and function of a news agency system has to be recognized as a part of the concept of freedom of press we often talk about social responsibility we often talk about the social responsible role of the media the social responsible role of different media organizations now why do we say that yes a media organization can just function they can just collect the news they'll try to edit the news and they'll try to send the news stories to different media organization or to they can you know send the news stories to, to different media outlets so the matter ends there so why should we go for social responsibility what shall we gain from social responsibility that is because we are living in a society we have a duty towards the society we need to communicate we need to interact with each and every social being of the and the planet and there in comes the role of social responsibility and social responsibility when you talk about this particular it's not only you know uh, seen in the in the case of media organizations but social responsibility is also very much prevalent in other multinational companies and other education institutions as well you know because since we live in a society we interact with each other so there is a duty there's a responsibility to maintain that particular standard of authenticity to maintain that standard of objectivity while reporting and presenting the different news stories now so far we have tried to understand what a news agency is all about the different uh, what exactly is a wire copy what is a multimedia news agency the different functions of a news agency as well as the different recommendations of the kuldeep nair committee which they have you know given a list of around you know 12 recommendations of how a news agency should perform most most specifically in the context of india